Students at Hong Kong's Kennedy School are learning the art of protest. Just a few hundred metres from their classrooms is this, the busiest shipping lane in the world, where exhaust fumes from bunk oil hang thick in the air. Sometimes it's, it's grey and it's like you can actually smell pollution. On its best days it's respectable, and yeah, but sometimes it does get pretty bad. Yeah. Are there ever times you can't see across the water? Yeah, there are, unfortunately. This map prepared by the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology shows sulfur dioxide emissions from container ships. The pollution is most concentrated at the container port, but is also dense along the shipping lanes to Hong Kong's west. We have occasions when the uh, air pollution index is very high. In fact, my school nurse checks it daily, uh, particularly during the summer. And we have to advise children who suffer from asthma not to go out at break times. There has been an attempt at action. In 2010, 18 shipping companies that sailed to Hong Kong signed up to a voluntary agreement called the Fair Winds Charter. They agreed to stop burning heavy bunker oil while in port, switching to cleaner fuels. But the deal doesn't extend to the shipping lanes and expires at the end of the year. With oil prices rising and shipping volumes falling, it's feared the deal will not be renewed. One policy think tank is calling for binding regulation, as in North America and Europe. The industry wants regulation. Regulation is the most effective way to level the playing field so that both the leaders and the laggards can be participating at the same level. For now, there's no sign of that happening. Face masks look set to remain a fixture at Kennedy School until the cost of doing nothing about pollution outweighs the cost of doing something. Paul Allen, Bloomberg.